My metaphysics, let me be perfectly frank with you, are that there is the central self, you can call it God, you can call it anything you like. And it's all of us. It's playing all the parts of all beings whatsoever, everywhere and anywhere. And it's playing the game of hide and seek with itself. It gets lost, it gets involved in the farest out adventures. But in the end, it always wakes up and comes back to itself. And when you're ready to wake up, you're going to wake up. And if you're not ready, you're going to stay pretending you're just a little, poor little me. And uh, since you're all here and engaged in this sort of inquiry and listening to this sort of lecture, I assume that you're all on the process of waking up. Or else you're teasing yourself with some kind of <laughs> flirtation with waking up, which you're not serious about. But I assume yeah, maybe you are not serious but sincere, that you are ready to wake up. So then, when you're in the way of waking up and finding out who you really are, you meet a character called a guru. As the Hindus say this word, the teacher, the awakener. And what is the function of a guru? He's the man who looks at you in the eye and says, oh, come on. <laughs> I know who you are. You know, you come to the guru and say, sir, I have a problem. I'm unhappy and I want to get one up on the universe or I want to become enlightened. I want spiritual wisdom. Ah, and the guru looks at you and says, who are you? You know Sri Ramana Maharshi, that great Hindu sage of modern times? People used to come to him and say, Master, who was I in my last incarnation? As if that mattered. And he would say, who is asking the question? And he'd look at you and say, basically, go right down to it. You're looking at me, you're looking out, and you're unaware of what's behind your eyes.